Good afternoon. Time's for a late afternoon. Or should I say good evening? It's 6.14 in the evening. What was I thinking today? It was my day off. I had all day to do this, but I didn't go on the row day. That's when it's not a row day. It just messes everything up. I forgot to take my vitamins. I forgot to take my pills. <laughs> I forgot to do my morning with Stanley video. I did take the dogs for a walk and I didn't forget to eat. Surprise, surprise. And I got a nap in. I got my hair cut. That's what also screwed me up. And also, the <clears throat> um, we got a, a, a Shelly who handles the, the pumpkin patch. Um, she does such a fantastic job with that as she does with everything she touches. Anyway, she's just great. <clears throat> anyway, she, um, she's been in contact with the, the people from... Um, pumpkin patch the navajo indian reservation and they yeah, there's a shortage of drivers right now just like a shortage of everything it seems and um they had nobody to come and deliver our pumpkins it's supposed to be delivered tomorrow morning and so she had been in contact with them and wanted to wait for to announce anything to everybody till today and when we knew for sure we still don't know when when they're going to come but so I was going to get my hair cut. She called me right when I was about to walk in the door and um, asked if I would put something on Facebook. And Anyway, so I got to think of that. And then I, I don't know, I came home and sat on the couch. <laughs> Did nothing for a while. Then I finally took a nap and then I completely forgot about this. So here I am. Had a nice, oh, I, um, you know, Ben and Jerry's is now my favorite ice cream. It's so good. I got their tiramisu ice cream and I opened it today and had a little bit. And, um, oh my goodness, it's good. This is not a good day to start my diet. That's all I can say. Anyway. I think Stanley and Lucy want to go for another walk and I don't want to, I'm just, I'm just tired. <laughs> I had a nap, why am I tired? Okay, I've done nothing. <laughs> Let's do our reading and I'll get this uploaded. Maybe I won't go, whack, I won't wax theological today <laughs> or ecclesiastical, whichever way it is um, today when and I'll get this uploaded and I'll be short. Here's our reading for Friday of week 18, a wedge between the spiritual and the material. We saw yesterday that the, cler that the clergy became dominant and possessive and the laity receded. Gratian leaves no doubt that the con condition of the laity is a concession to human frailty. To be a layman was to have chosen a second rate calling and the laity were second-rate people. But to return to the New Testament, here this was not true. When the question of distribution of food arose in the sixth chapter of Acts, the apostles called the main body of believers together and said, It is not right that we should give up preaching the word of God to serve tables. Therefore, brethren, Brethren, pick out from among you seven men of good repute, full of the spirit and of wisdom, whom you may appoint to this duty. But we will devote ourselves to prayer and to the ministry of the word. That's Acts 6, 2 through 4. This has usually been looked upon as a spiritual and wise act and attitude. Actually, I believe it was a very wrong and disastrous move, though well intended. They drove a wedge between the material and the spiritual. Christianity and Christianity, the, the material and the spiritual, are two sides of one reality. The apostles separated what God had joined in the incarnation. There, the word became flesh. Here, the word was to become word and the flesh was to become flesh. The spiritual was to be apart from the material and the material was to be apart from the spiritual to the impoverishing of both. The spiritual was not to function in material terms, and the material was not to function in spiritual terms. One was high and dry, and the other low and secular. 
This division between the secular and the sacred persists until today, a disastrous division. It destroys the essential nature of Christianity. It makes it like other religions where the word becomes word, the capital W word becomes little w word, instead of being true to itself, where the word, the capital W word, becomes flesh. This makes the Christian faith, faith less than and other than its true self. You hear this art here? I'm going to go wax theological or ecclesiastical, however you want. Anyway, um, it, this, the social justice versus, you know, uh, there's a lot of people, it's like, we're just supposed to be at work and the worship of God is secondary. And others just, well, worship of God is primary and the work, you know, we don't have to do the work. And um, the anti social justice people and a lot of activists may not be so much into worship. Um, it's really supposed to be both, both and, not either or. I, I agree with Jones on this. I agree with Jones on most of the stuff he says. And I'm challenged by Jones, but I usually end up believe, <laughs> agreeing with him at some point. Here is our prayer for today. Oh, Jesus, we tear your seamless robe when we divide life into sacred and secular. You taught, or you, yeah, you taught and healed and fed people in the name of the one gospel. Help me this day to manifest you in everything. Amen. And here is our affirmation for the day. All my barriers are down. Life is one, and that one life is his. Jesus is Lord.